I want to introduce the G2 Quick Turn Two Stroke Throttle Assembly. Well, we use this, we just developed this. What it works for is on all two strokes, whether it be a European or a Japanese model. It comes complete with all of the necessary hardware. And uh, what it does, the reason for it is that uh, guys are going a lot more back to two strokes now. Um, after riding big four strokes, now they're finding that either A, they want to reduce the twist on their two stroke, whether it be a wrist injury or just uh, the sheer fact of not having to drop their elbow down and it comes complete with all the mounting hardware. I'm going to show you how to assemble a G2 quick turn two stroke throttle on a Japanese motorcycle. Uh, the first thing we will do is we'll take the tube, make sure the cam's on, we'll put it on the handlebar, we made sure that it's clean, we're going to Slide the tube on, put the top on. We then will uh, take the bottom cap and we'll just start to turn the eight millimeter head bolts on. We're just gonna tighten these down just ever so slightly just so that everything kind of stays in place. We're gonna just rotate it so that we can work on the area. We next need to take the supplied reducer because of the Japanese motorcycle, the thread area is different size for here is here. Uh, the first thing we need to do is uh, it's got a slice in it. We install the cable. We'll slide the cable in through the housing, pull out whatever slack. Now we will ever so gently turn in the, the reducer. Just holding the slack a little bit on this end just so that it doesn't try to get in the slot of the reducer. All right, once we have that turned in, it finger tight is plenty. We'll back the jam nut off. We'll turn the adjuster in. We might as well turn it all the way in because we don't yet need know how much adjustment we need. All right, now that we have that, We'll roll the throttle tube backwards, take the lead head, put it in the, the hole. All right, now what we will do on this particular model, we'll use in a green pulley. It has a little brass bushing. The bushing goes into the top part, not the bottom. When this goes in, you just come in at it, push the cable aside, and set her down. Now what we'll do is just kind of hold that there a little bit. We'll just put the cap down on top. It kind of snaps a little bit in place. We'll use two of the bolts. The bolts are both the same length. There is no uh, right or wrong there. Now, now I'm just going to run these down. Um, at this point there's no reason we can't just run these screws all the way down tight. No need to over tighten them. There's fine line between tight and too loose. All right, we have uh, those bolts tight. The next thing we'll do now is we need to position our housing. Uh, in this particular instance, we're using a closed end, so we slide till we feel it touch, and then we just back it up ever so slightly. Now what we'll do is we're going to uh, tighten these bolts up a little bit more. I need to snug this one up a little more. Now I need to rotate it to where I need it, making sure that it doesn't interfere with my brake. And now I'll tighten the one that's easier accessible. Okay, now that we have that tight, now we need to adjust the slack in our uh, throttle. Now this is too much free play, so we will turn the cable adjuster out till we get the desired free play that you want. Always making sure that everything's snapping back. 
I got the desired free play for me. I will hold the one adjuster and turn the jam nut in. I'll take an eight millimeter and a 12 and I will tighten the jam nut. Now this does not need to be very tight. We're uh, dealing with a plastic insert and a steel uh, it threaded adjuster so we do we don't need to be too over tight just to where things start getting to where they're snug always making sure the throttle snaps back and now I have the desired free play then I will back my uh, boot back over the top and there you have it